what's happening guys we're out doing some porgy fishing and we're gonna do a bait test fresh clam versus fish bites fishing chunks now the flavor that i'm going to use on the fish bites will be squid because that's what we have here in the bay uh the other flavors that are offered are shrimp and also crab but you're gonna see right away we're gonna do real well pulling up some nice fish Ooh. Oh, right away. yep right away right away is right Oh, well, that's a keeper. So the fresh clam is very effective for the porgies, but my problem with clam is it's very messy. Uh, cut from cutting it up on the cutting board, getting cooked onto the cutting board in the sun, having to clean that later, all over your hands, getting on the reel. As you can see, I have two microfiber rags hanging from my bolster, so I can clean my hands, you know, regularly. But I prefer something less messy. That's a nice porgy, dude. Ooh, come on, reel that. He's, he's pokey. What are you doing? This is a good one. Oh, that's, uh, that's, yeah, absolutely. Ooh, that is definitely a good one. Oh, wow. Wow, dude, that's a monster. Another issue I have with the clam is it gets all over the floor of the boat. It gets on Mark's boots. He's tracking it everywhere. You got to clean that up, and that's not fun either. So why I'm still showing you us pulling up porgy on clam is because I want you to see for yourself there was a significant size difference once I switch over to the fish bites. They're all, you know, nice porgies, keeper size, you know, a couple 12s, 11s. Maybe one big one that was around 15, 16, but you'll see a significant change once we put on the fish bites. Yeah, another one. Yeah? Not as big as the last one, huh? No, that last one was huge. Oh, yeah, that's spitting up all the chum. I think this guy might be short. Stop, I hate it when they do that. No, he's, he, he keeps. He keeps. I got that one. Oh, yeah. A little, little bandage on the rod. Oh, that's a chopper. This is a nice one. Another nice one. Look at that one. That's, your other one was huge, though. But this, you some, oh, you got a double header? They are thick, bro. Uh, whatever. And as you can see right here, there's clam right there on the glass. I throw it off. It gets flicked all over the boat. So we've got clam. We're gonna switch over. I'm gonna throw on the fish and chunks, squid flavored, and see how the pork is like this. But I want to make it the right size, so I'm going to cut it. If I can cut it, it's so tough. Damn. Damn. Okay. And that knife is very sharp. I always keep that knife sharp. So this size is a little big. I'm going to cut that down. Now, I took a chunk, and I'm cutting it into like not even quarters, fifths, real small piece. You just need a little piece, and it's going to work very well. Once we both switch over, we end up using only four of those little pieces, two each, to get our limit each. Ugh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah. Dude, this This is good. This is a good porgy. It's taking drag, bro. This is a really good porgy. Dude, look at the fish bites caught. Look at this porgy. <laughs> That's a slam, bro, on the, on the fish bites. So what I experienced is right away a uh, larger porgy, but after these things get hit up a bunch, chewed up, 
that's when you'll need to switch one because these things are getting chewed on pretty hard. Size right. He's almost 16 inches. That's a nice one. Huge. You want a fish bite chunk or you want to keep fishing your clam? Um, yeah, do whatever you want. Okay, well, I'll do a high Here, I'll look. do one on one. There you go, right there. Perfect. See what, see what now, now we're going to put the fish bite chunk on the high. He's got the clam on the low. We'll see what is more effective. My tip's wrapped. My tip's wrapped. There we go. Let's see if as soon as I get down, let's see. Oh yeah. Oh, right away. Right away, dude. Feels like another good one. Decent. Oh, it's a sea bass, dude. They're here already? Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh wow, sea bass, okay. And that was my first sea bass of the season. They're not in season yet, so we toss them back. But that's a great indicator too, because a lot of guys use the clam for the sea bass. And here's another alternative. getting slammed dude oh, yeah. what a hit the fish bites nice oh bro hit the fish bites huh now i'm not getting paid for this uh my experience is exactly what you're seeing right here brett sent me down a few samples i'll be trying out different products for various scenarios and different species and i'm really liking what i'm seeing right here with these guys Fish bites again, dude. I think Yeah, you don't, but it stays on the hook, yeah. And you're not, you know, you, you buy it once, it stays on the hook, you're not, it costs you less money. This is great. Ooh, ooh, dude, look at the bend. This is a beast. This is a beast, Porgy, bro. This is a beast. This is a beast. Running. Look at the bend in the rod, dude. Dino. Oh, I gotta keep him on. Oh, he's trying to get off, dude. He's doing the shimmy shake. Look at that. Oh my God, bro. Dude, look at his Porgy. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god, I gotta have Steve weigh that one. Wow, that's a beast for a porgy, bro. Oh my god. And I still have my bait. Still have my fish bite. Still on the hook. Oh, it's huge. Oh god. I gotta measure them. It's almost 17 inches. Nice. You gonna swing on that thing? There you go. I like, I like to go, oh, see that? I like to go for the double headers. They're a bunch of fun, more fun. You can feel like crashing into each other. <laughs> yeah, look, I got that thing too. You sure? Oh yeah, double header. Nice. So with the high-low test, they were actually hitting the high hook more times than not over the low hook with the clam. In some scenarios, Mark would just sit down there and wait, and he's pretty good at setting the hook on a second fish so he can get a double header. Maybe I do need to double, double it up. So I'm talking about setting the hook through the fish bite two times just because after it gets you know hit by a bunch of fish you pull up a bunch of fish it starts to get chewed up pretty bad and a single hook it will get off it is reinforced with cloth but i found it stayed on the hook way longer putting that hook through a second time so the fish bike packs come with seven of those large chunks in each bag based upon what we used I would say it's very fair to say you can catch well over 100 porgies on one bag Probably a lot more. 
I just threw a fresh piece in the water about 20 seconds ago, and this product starts to dissolve once it hits the water, giving off the scent. So I'm trying to give you an idea of how long it takes to get a reaction from the fish to hit this product. Oh, come on, man. I missed the nice one. Yeah? Oh, there's fish down there. Oh! Yeah, that, this has got to be good, bro. This has got to be a good porgy, man. Oh, God. Yeah, look at that one. Another good one. Another good one. Another one bite the dust. Oh, they actually chew it up pretty good with these little teeth, dude. Look at his teeth. Yeah, they got some nice the teeth. The bigger ones do. And they have like the, the blackfish teeth in the back of the throats too. Look. Yeah, <laughs> Come here. Come here. Uh, the, the back there. A little fingernail clipper. Ooh, uh, you just heard Mark mention Totog with their teeth. They've got much larger teeth. And this product does come in crab flavor, which I am super excited to use in October and November and really see how those fish respond to the synthetic bait. Oh, Good one? Oh, nice. Another nice one. These things work great. Oh, okay, I got him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a good one, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Chopper. Another good keeper anyways. After this fishing experience on these baits, I will definitely be using them again every season when it comes to the porgy. Get yourself a bag and get yourself some fish.